Welcome back to another live edition of Kudo Camera Company uh, YouTube live stream. Um, we're going to get into another uh, mystery unboxing. So let me see. Oh, no, I left it in the other room. Okay. Let me just grab that really quickly. Always plenty of, uh, plenty of unboxing to do. As you can imagine. So, okay. <laughs> okay. So here we are. Uh, we've got another another box here. So, um, uh, my name is Ben Kudo from uh, Kudo Camera Company, and we sell a classic lenses, uh, vintage cameras, and lens adapters on eBay. And we also have an Amazon store where we sell um, lens adapters. Um, you can uh, check us out by going to uh, kudocameracompany.com and you'll find links to eBay and Amazon as well as our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So please check us out. If you're watching the uh, stream today, please uh, subscribe. It helps us grow our channel, helps us grow our company, and we'll always be doing some cool things like this. So. Instead of you having to buy all the uh, potential junk cameras, I can be the one. And you get to see it live on YouTube, and we'll see what happens. So let's take a look. So I um, uh, explain this a lot, but basically what I do is I buy online estate sale auction uh, photography lots. I get them in, and I take them in, and I clean them up. I repair them if they need repairing. And then I sell them to um, photographers on on eBay uh, for the for the vintage lenses. Um, I personally shoot with a Sony A7 uh, Mark II full frame mirrorless camera, so uh, these classic lenses are really perfect for that. The first vintage lens I ever had was actually a um, packing slip here. Uh, first vintage lens I ever had was. Uh, M42 50 millimeter uh, F 1.4 um, and I believe it was a Rikonon. So here we are uh, dreaded packing peanuts. Um, the problem with packing peanuts are that they make a ton of mess. Um, I never use them to ship out to anyone else so they're just the the worst possible thing that you can pack with. I said that, but I've also just had the last box I opened had people packing with uh, grocery bags. So at least they weren't used grocery bags, so they didn't have any uh, ground beef in them or anything like that. But packing peanuts aren't much better in my book. Um, I'm almost breaking my number one rule. Before I get into any um, grimy cameras, I always put on my powder-free, latex-free nitrol gloves. I get these on eBay from a dental supply company. Um, one day I'm going to put their link um, in, the, in the description, but for now, just know that's what I use. Um, okay, let's see what we have here. We've got like a camera body uh, <clears throat> part of the fun of what I do is opening these and seeing the big reveal and seeing if they're in good condition if they're in bad condition um, seeing exactly what it is so what do we have here okay let's try to just knock off as many of these packing peanuts as I can um, these are such a pain because they get on the floor and then they're really hard to sweep up uh, because they just kind of float around and they have a static charge and you almost can never get rid of them in that way. Okay. Just double check there's nothing else in here. Just packing peanuts and more packing peanuts. Um, the thing about packing peanuts that I also really don't like are 
I, for me, I, I can't really reuse them because I would not send a client uh, anything packed with packing peanuts. For me, uh, they're just a pain. I mean, people want to open their stuff. They don't want to spend 10 minutes uh, cleaning up. Um, but, okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, this is kind of the, the big moment here. I would almost think maybe I could show it under the macro lens. Let me see if I can switch macro view here. We'll see. Okay, the big moment of truth here. Let's see, what do we have? So, bubble wrap is key. Um, I personally like the 3 16th inch uh, bubble wrap, not this uh, kind of bigger bubble. Um, Okay, unrolling. What do we have here? What do we have here? Almost there. Come on. Come on, camera, come out. Whoa, what is this? Very patriotic. I like that. That's a good start. Okay. Let's see here. All right, what do we have here? Oh, does anyone know? what logo that is um let me give you a better look you know if you want to pause it and go take a look at some of my other videos you'll definitely recognize oh wow i'm, I'm just totally thrilled here you're, you're going to see a couple of brands from my from my videos that you're going to recognize the first one here i don't know if you can see that it almost looks like a uh atomic particle or something like that it's a very cool logo we'll get back to that in a minute and then this american strap not only is it just totally vintage um, it's not like completely roached out it's actually got a ton of utility left but one of the things i'm really digging on right now is that it's my main man bobby lee so i don't know yeah, I'm just kind of looking on the monitor here. You can see that Bobby Lee. Um, this other strap I have here uh, is Bobby Lee as well. Let me just take off Terrence. Let me have this just a second. Hold on, I'll get it back to you, bud. Here, put your hat on. Okay. This uh, really cool strap here was also Bobby Lee. This one was actually featured in my personal collection of camera straps. So. I'm learning more about Bobby Lee. These are actually the first two Bobby Lee straps that I've ever had. Um, I looked him up and I saw he does a lot of guitar straps as well. So, all right, so Bobby Lee. Let's just take a look at the strap first. So the buckles appear to be in good condition. Yep, good condition. I mean, this is really cool. It, there's not a ton of flags that would really look great like this. The American flag does look pretty cool like this. So um, I'm into it. Okay, this looks great. Totally awesome. So let's just see if we can just get this strap off. It's got these rubber coating um, protection things on it. I'm sure that was a sort of an aftermarket thing, but I'm going to just clear out this strap. Um, I don't know about you, but I just don't use these leather cases for for myself um in general they kind of just block the the camera and everything so they don't, they don't look good on a display shelf and then i guess they would be good if you were traveling but i don't know i guess i'll keep it with this leather i mean these little rubber protective things that's kind of cool i mean this this is really well made everything is fully stitched it's bobby lee bobby lee does it again this is really cool all right So back to this. So if you recognize that logo, um, you probably already know what camera this is. Um, I remember winning this. So let's see. Oh boy, we got another bonus here. Um, original lens cap as well. So you see that logo again. Something feels very loose. Okay, it's just been unscrewed, I guess. Um, so you recognize this logo, this logo. 
is a, uh, it looks like an uh, um, atomic particle, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's, uh, if you can look closely, it's actually, you can't even really tell, I guess, but it's an S and an R. So the S and the R, um, you see it here too. S and R, you can tell a little bit better. See how it's kind of a, a funky R on the side with a really cool uh, sort of tail on the on the leg in the in the loop for the R, and then the S uh, comes and kind of wraps back around there and it makes it look like. Some people say it looks like a butterfly. I personally think it looks a bit like an atomic particle. Um, so let me just take off this leather. Now this camera, I actually have quite a few um, and for instance there's this one here and then literally right here I have the exact same camera this was in my uh, review of uh, department store cameras are they cool or not nah? they are cool as all heck um, so Sears made a ton of high quality uh, camera products because um, they had it I believe they had a lifetime warranty so that was kind of the thing with them. Now, one of the most sought after lenses, um, as far as Sears go, is this one right here. Now, I'm already coming across some problems with it. So for anyone who's watched the unboxing videos, you probably think I always get lucky. And I have to say, I have been pretty lucky, but this feels like an exception. This is very, very stiff. We'll, we'll take a look and see how it goes. So the lens, the big reveal here, see what is this here oh yeah there we go it's the auto sears 1 to 1 1.4 f equals 55 millimeter lens the 50 millimeter prime lens by tomioka so this particular lens was made by tomioka and it was uh rebadged uh for or maybe even um, I guess rebadge is a good word for it for for Sears Corporation. Um, so I've never had one of these lenses come in stiff, um, and this one is stiff, um, which is not good. Uh, I guess usually I need a reason to kind of keep a lens for myself, and I've always wanted one of these lenses. Maybe this will be a good one for me to keep. I mean, it's definitely loosening up as I just turn it. Some of these lenses haven't been used in. 20, 30, 40 years. Um, this particular lens, um, this is something you'd probably see in the Sears uh, catalog for Christmas. So when, when people are, you know, making their Christmas list, they would kind of, especially maybe the dad who doesn't want to actually buy anything for himself or, or the mom who doesn't want to buy anything for herself would kind of put a little check mark next to this in the Christmas catalog, hoping that their uh, significant other will see that check mark and actually go ahead and buy it for them. And they don't have to kind of tell them, hey, I want that Sears, you know, the one with that crazy nice lens on it. Um, this is the one. So let's take a look at it. Um, The camera itself is a very cool camera, very easy to use. Um, so it's it's a really nice camera. So step that aside and just take a look here. So the lens itself, um, let me see if I don't have my flashlight, I can use my cell phone. If I don't have my cell phone, then I might be out of luck. This is my cell phone. get some light going through there and just take a look uh, for haze um, just straight out of the box the haze is next to none um, there's zero balsam separation the actual haze inside here it looks worse on um, like I'm looking up at the monitor it actually looks worse on the monitor than it does when you're actually looking at it um, these uh, lenses whenever you shine a bright light into them you're always going to see some some particles. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it's uh, allergy season. So, again, anyone who's watched these uh, unboxing videos, you know I have had a ton of luck. Um, 
this one has kind of like, this is the pain of when you're buying uh, vintage lenses and lots and, and doing the whole uh, estate sale uh, route. This is why most people who want to actually shoot with the lenses don't choose to do the, what I what I do because um, you end up with a lot of duds. And this lens, no matter what, it's, it's never going to be a dud, um, but it is going to need to be cleaned. Um, and this particular lens, I've never had to clean it before. So it'll be interesting to see how it comes apart. Um, usually when I'm kind of testing and seeing how things come apart, I uh, just try to do it lightly. Like I just gave that a twist that did not come off. Um, so the next thing I'll do will be the, the nameplate. See if I can unscrew that nameplate. Uh, so the serial number on this one is kind of a plain Jane serial number. Nothing to get excited about there. But the condition overall is the body is excellent. Um, it's probably why it's stiff. Like it was never used. It was just left in infinity and never used again. Um, so one of the things about this particular lens, it is loosening up a bit, but it's still, it's not great. Um, one of the things about this particular lens is that it is radioactive. Um, so in general, you think of radioactive, like I know Chernobyl right now is, is trending. <laughs> so if you know anything about Chernobyl, um, you know that you know radioactivity is, is very harmful. You do have some people carving out an existence there, uh, which is pretty, I watched a documentary on that um, just last night. It was kind of interesting to see people do that. They didn't want to leave. They got kicked out and then they kind of snuck back in and uh, they're, they're living there. Um, so with radiation um, on a lens, uh, you can definitely consult uh, a physicist, uh, consult your physician, um, consult your psychologist. You can consult a lot of people and kind of get some answers for yourself about how dangerous they are. Uh, some of the factors I've seen are that you could hold the lens against your eye for 4,000 years and you would have approximately the amount of radiation that you get from one x-ray. Don't take my word for that though, because these are just kind of like, this is anecdotal what you hear um, on the forums. But I mean, I feel totally confident with, with having a lens like this. It doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. Um, so sometimes on these lenses, you'll see this part is uh, chipped. This one is in perfect condition. Um, so as far as this one, I just, I'm going to have to get down to, to the helicoid, um, the focusing helicoid and get that cleaned out and relubricated, which could be worse. There could be a giant scratch. There could be a ton of fungus in it, but at the end of the day, I'm disappointed um, because, uh, you know, when you do what I do, you, you hope to get lucky and hope that they're going to be in perfect condition, um, especially ones like this that I know, you know, I kind of have to pay up for if there's any sort of competition in the bidding. Uh, so if you're bidding against me on this one and you, you kind of recognize it and you're laughing at me, <laughs> well, that's okay because I can fix it too. So um, I do have that going for me. So. You know, this, uh, this particular lens is just totally cool. I don't know. Maybe I'll finally keep one of them. I always sell them because they're in such high demand. But um, Tomioka made some incredible lenses. If you have any feedback on this particular lens, if you know what makes um, Tomioka so special, um, I would love to hear it um, in the comments. Um, and this particular lens, one of the cool things too, um, is that in addition to the, uh, the pin on the back, uh, like all or most, a lot of M42 lenses, I should say, um, this pin here, you can see the aperture is going when I push it. It also has this auto manual. So when you flip that switch, it engages the aperture blades. Certainly it makes it a lot easier when you're doing your listings and wanna have a nice picture of the aperture blades 
um, that's a, a great way to do it. I have some really cool pictures of these, um, this particular lens on Instagram too, if you want to check it out. Um, but, uh, I don't know how well am I hiding my disappointment there. Uh, the good thing about this particular lens, um, is that while it didn't come with a rear lens cap, I always have a ton of these, uh, M42 lens caps around, um, it did come with the Sears Roebuck original cap in nearly mint condition. Um, came with this incredible <laughs> USA uh, camera shop. That's really cool. Okay. And the camera itself is in really good shape. I almost wish that, um, you know, it had some of the, like the original cap with it, the back cap, but you know, I've, I've been fortunate and lucky over the years with these, uh, lenses in general. So I don't want to ask for too much there out of the, uh, karma. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is a great lens. Um, and, uh, we'll see, maybe you'll see it in the next video will be about how to take it apart and, uh, and clean it up and, and lubricate it. But, uh, with any luck, um, I don't know, maybe I'll just use it for a while and see if it kind of loosens back up, but I don't think it's going to be quite that simple. Uh, maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. In the meanwhile, please check out the eBay store. We have plenty of lenses that are good to go there. Um, all the lenses go through our rating system. So you'll see exactly, uh, how they perform, um, in terms of the aperture, uh, performance, the body condition, the focus motion, the optics uh, for general optics, um, optics balsam separation, and optical haze. Uh, so I go through all those ratings and I tell you a bit about the lens and some of the characteristics of it. And um, uh, definitely give a ton of uh, as many pictures as they allow, uh, 12 photos. So you can kind of go through and see all the different sides of it and make sure it, it kind of meets what you're looking for. Um, so please check out our eBay store, uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, if you're looking for any adapters, check us out on Amazon as well. And please, if you have any comments about Tomioka, I, uh, I would love to hear some more expert opinion on that. Um, what I know about Tomioka is mainly just their reputation. It's, it's what everyone talks about. They have, they make a, um, uh, Tomioka, um, 50 or 55 millimeter f 1.2 that i almost won um, i was bidding up like 400 dollars on the thing and i still lost it so it's like a 700 or 800 dollar lens um, i didn't want to go any higher because you get the lenses back and this is what you're dealing with sometimes so hey that's all part of the mystery unbox so you never know what you're going to get it's certainly been a lot worse but uh this one is not going to be a, a cakewalk but Life goes on and uh, we'll, we'll keep taking photos and enjoying ourselves. So thanks for checking out uh, the channel and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.